Welcome back to News Views. I'm Judy Sue. I'm now talking with Bridget Altenberg, Chief Operating Officer of National Able Network. The nonprofit helps veterans transition to the civilian workforce through its Veterans Forward program. Nice to have you here, Bridget. Thank you for having me. We're going to dive right into it. So tell us about your organization and this Veterans Forward program. Absolutely. So National Able Network's been around 40 years, and uh, we started Veterans Forward 10 years ago because we were seeing veterans come through some of our other uh, job search and workforce programs and they weren't getting the the unique help that they needed and so we created veterans forward to really uh, uh, fulfill the needs that our, our veterans were seeing as they were coming out of the military and, and having that struggle of what am I going to do as a civilian and and how do you exactly do that help them with that transition what kind of skills are they needing sure well the, the first thing we do is um, we have a team of veterans serving veterans and one of the things that we find is that there are a lot of promises that are being made to our veterans that aren't necessarily being kept and so you see a lot of oh we're gonna hire all veterans and a lot of, of a lot of promises and so we find that having a team of veterans serving veterans allows us to build rapport with the veterans get their trust um, let them know that we're experts and that we can help them with understanding what their military skill sets are, translating that into something that civilians will understand and appreciate. Um, and so that's the biggest thing is that translation part of it. Um, job search is hard for anybody, whether you've been in the military for five years and have to translate or you're just trying to figure out the job, it changes a lot. And so being abreast of all of the things that have changed in job search and making sure that your clients understand those and use those successfully is, is really what we do at National Able Network. In general, do you find that employers are hesitant to hire veterans? I don't think that employers are hesitant to hire veterans. I think that they don't understand the values that veterans bring to the table, the assets that they have. Um, we have a lot of companies that hire veterans at the 10 to $15 an hour range and don't realize that uh, first of all, when somebody joins the military, they're already, you know, 75% of Americans can't even join the military. They, you have to have a high school diploma. Uh, you can't have a criminal background. So you're already, you're already fishing from a more selective pool. On top of that, if you serve for five years in the military, you've been promoted two or three times. You have led a project from start to finish. Um, you have m managed a group of up to 10 people. And so those skill sets are things that I think a lot of civilian employers don't understand. Because so you're saying they bring a lot to the table Absolutely. already. It's about translating it so that the employers understand. Exactly. That's exactly right. And so that's one of the things that we help them with is um, don't call yourself a squad leader. Talk about project management. Talk about uh, managing a project from start to finish, uh, meeting a deadline. Um, and so those things that you and I understand because we've been in the civilian workforce, uh, a lot of times in the military, they don't they don't translate it into something that we understand. I also find that a lot of veterans, they don't like to brag about themselves. They talk about, you know, we So did they're this. very humble. Very humble. And they, they and you kind of have to say, well, you know, in job search, you kind of have to brag about yourself. That's what a little bit about what job search is, is I led this team and I built this bridge and I did this thing. Um, and so we have to kind of get them out of that, that mindset that, you know, we all did this together and they, they do have to brag a little bit. You're right, because they come from that team atmosphere. Exactly. Which, in a way, is so important in the workforce. Exactly, exactly. The other thing that comes that we find is that uh, compared to their peers, if you served, you served right out of high school and you, you know, got out when you're 22, uh, a civilian has probably interviewed hundreds of times and written a resume a few thousand times. And uh, our military people have not written a resume or interviewed because they spent their time in the military and the military just says go there you don't get to interview for it um, and so they we have to even the playing field a little bit for them to teach them the skill sets that they need teach them how to brag a little bit um, and then get them in front of employers that really appreciate okay brag skills. a little bit about the program how many people have you been able to help with how many veterans sure so we we uh, we, heard, we helped 492 veterans last year with a team of two two and a half Wow um, so I'm really proud of our team we have a wonderful team of all veterans serving veterans and so they're really able to speak to the veterans and gain their trust and you know give them a kick in the pants when they need it and give okay. them a little tough love when they need it as well all right and where can people find you if they're looking for this kind of help sure so they can go to national able uh, and you can see all the programs that we have, Veterans Pro Forward being one of them. Um, and uh, come see us. We, we love helping our veterans. We, uh, we have a job ready boot camp 
uh, once a month. It really gets them on the ground. Free pizza. Can't beat it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's lovely to meet you and talk Thank about you. this in, you know, ahead of Veterans Day coming up. Thank, Thank you very you much, so much, Bridget. Best of luck with this program. And that does it for News Views. Thank you for joining us on the Sunday. And thank you to all the men and women who have served our country. We hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.